Welcome back. Before we get too comfortable here in the studio, let's go back out to downtown Lafayette where News Channel 18's Ava Wilhite is reporting live from the Uptown Jazz and Blues Festival. Hi, Ava. Oh, Kristen, the band Los Blancos is one of that uh, is going to hit the stage just a couple minutes here at the Uptown Jazz and Blues Festival. Now, earlier this week, I sat down with one of the band members to find out what makes their sound so different. If you're looking for a pick-me-up at the Uptown Jazz and Blues Fest, you might find it in the stylings of Lafayette Bland Los Blancos. So what we play is, is often called Latin jazz. So it, it blends these Afro-Cuban traditions with more recent jazz. And the set that we'll do at Uptown is, is a real mix. We're going to do some very traditional percussion-only pieces. And then we'll do some things that sound like something you might hear in a, in a jazz club in New York. Judd Danby is the pianist for Los Blancos, or in English, the Whites. Danby joined the band when it was already formed, so he was not instrumental with the forming of the band name. Eight sort of corn-fed Midwestern guys who really wanted to start to explore this Afro-Cuban tradition music playing it, and they just thought that the tongue-in-cheek name would, would be a funny way to go. Danby says the band was formed by percussionist Kurt Gardner and bassist Lynn Caldwell in 1995. Originally, the band was all local, but now some members have moved away. Danby says the band always comes together for big shows like Uptown Jazz and Blues. Danby says when Los Blancos were invited to play the Uptown Jazz and Blues Fest, it was a no-brainer to accept. Something special about looking down the street, even as a performer downtown, and seeing those, those great buildings like the courthouse as you're, as you're playing music. Danby says Los Blancos have played before at Uptown, at a taste of Tippecanoe, and at Global Fest. He says this weekend there will be a little bit more emphasis on the jazz because of the crowd. Uh, we borrow some material from some of the greats like Pancho Sanchez and musicians like that, Tito Puente. Uh, and then we also have all contributed original works to the book. So we do a nice mix. Danby says during the 90-minute set they hope to see more than a few people get up out their seats and dance. Again, that's Los Blancos who's getting ready to hit the stage 615 over at the uh, promenade stage at the Uptown Jazz and Blues Festival. Now, the festival itself ends at 12, but the party goes on to the wee hours of the morning over at the Knickerbocker. Uh, there's time to get down here, get some food. It's great weather, uh, and make sure you get a chance to hear some of these bands that came out this year. Reporting live from downtown Lafayette, Ava Wilhite, News Channel 18.